Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 57 in our legendary, our new, our improved, our epic series of Arduino tutorials. I will need you to pour yourself a large mug of iced coffee. I will need you to fire up your Arduino. I am doing all of the work in this, uh, in this series of projects from the Eligu or Elego or whatever it is called, Super Starter Kit. If you don't have one, look in the description down below. There is a link that will take you to this. 35 bucks, you get a boatload of sensors and the Arduino. So get out your Arduino, fire it up, get your coffee, and let's look. I do believe in lesson number 56, I'd left you with homework and what that homework was, in fact, to plot the sine wave and the cosine wave simultaneously using the Arduino uh, serial plotter. And so let's see if I can come over here and get you a good view. I do not like that view very much. Let me come here and I think I will go ahead and make this full screen. All right, so you're supposed to plot a sine wave and a cosine wave at the same time. And how many people did it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you were successful in getting this to work. And you know that we're using the serial plotter. Okay, so what do I need to do if I'm going to do sines and cosines? I need to do a int sine val, okay, and then int cosine val, all right, and then I need a counter, int j, all right. So then I go to the void setup, and I better get out of your way, huh? There we go. Then I go down to the void setup serial dot begin 9600. Now I need to come to the void loop. I need to say sine val is equal to the sine of, ah, I'm sorry, I need to do a for loop. For, okay, j is equal to, where does the sine and cosine wave start? At zero. And then where does it go to? Well, j is less than or equal to little tip if you didn't find out this already the arduino works in radians so we need not to go to 360 degrees we need to go to 2 pi which would be 2 times 3.1415926 something like that my obsessive compulsive is coming out to put many more, a ridiculously more number of digits to pi than what is needed. And then we're going to say j is equal to j. Don't say plus one because then you would just get three points, right? You got to have j increment small so we will get a very smooth sine wave. So j is equal to j plus, let's just try 0.01. Let's see how that works. All right. Start my clause with my curly bracket. It puts the other curly bracket down there, the closing one for me. So now I will say sine val is equal to the sine of j, my counter. And then cosine val is equal to cosine of j, little j, my counter. All right, now how do we plot this? Well, we do a serial dot serial dot print ln or print, what do I want to print? Sine val, right? And if we want to print both channels at the same time, we have to do a print and then we got to print a delimiter and then print again. So you could do like a print sine val and then <clears throat> you could print a space and then print cosine val. I do not like spaces as delimiters. Don't ask me why. And also this should have been a capital S and I therefore am going to use a serial print. Can you guess what my favorite delimiter is? The comma. All right. And print comma is a string then serial dot print ln and then I will print cosine val and this has got to work right. There is no way that this would not work. This is going to work great. So let's download this. Hold our breath. Oh denied. Ah, uh, uh, forgot my semicolon. Real problem is someone did not hold their breath. This time I need everyone to hold their breath. <sighs> wow. You know what? I can't read your mind. <laughs> Siri not thinks yet. I'm... Anyway, 
Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Would you shut up and go away? She did. She shut up and go away. I, I try to turn Siri off and she keeps coming back. It's like, go away. It's creepy. Go away. And then all of a sudden she starts talking to me again. Okay, but I digress. Let's download the program. Oh. Okay, I think it's going to work. All right, so now how do we look at our plotted data? We come up here to Serial Plotter, call it up, and let's watch. Huh? Does not look like a sine wave. Okay, somebody tell me what I did wrong. Why is this not working? I'm getting a 1 and a 0. Hmm. Sounds like what? You guys pause, figure out what the problem is, then come back and tell me. Did you all figure it out? Huh? Okay, how did we declare our sine val and our cosine val as ints? Does the sine and cosine curve go from minus 1 to 0 to 1? No, it's the in-between values. What should we have declared this as? As real numbers, which in Arduino land is called a float. A real number, which is the in-between numbers, is a float. So we did the wrong variable declaration, and that was our problem. Now we're fixed, right? Yes, we did not even hold our breath because of our confidence. So we will fire up the... Whoa! Okay. So we got to kill the serial plotter first. We have to kill it. And now we will start it again. Uh, and what did I do? I did the serial monitor instead of the serial plotter. Okay. Serial plotter. Ow! It's still doing it. Okay. Pause the video and tell me why it's not working. Actually, these mistakes I make on purpose because I teach high school and I see some mistakes over and over and over. And sometimes I deliberately do the mistakes so then you can see how to debug them. And this is the case. What is the problem? We made int a j. I mean, we made j an int, our counter down here. And we say start at j equals 0. That's good. And then we say j is equal to j plus 0.01. That's going to stay where? That's going to stay on 0 because, you know, an int plus a float is going to be 0 if that float is less than 1. So it's rounding to 0, and we're just stuck at 0. And sine of 0 is 0, and cosine of 0 is 1. And that's why we are flatlining on those values. How do we fix that? We make this a float. Now, we are going to download it. We're going to sip our coffee, and then we are going to come and we are going to look at our serial plotter. Boom! Sine wave, cosine wave at the same time. A sine wave and a cosine wave at the same time. All right, guys, the, I like this because the serial plotter is just so, so easy. The thing that annoys me is you really don't have any ability to change that scale. And so it's auto scaling between five and minus five. There is absolutely no reason for it to be auto scaling between those values. And that just really annoys me because I would like it to go from like 1.5 to minus 1.5. But there's, as far as I can tell, short of uh, modifying the source code, I do not know of any way to keep that thing from auto scaling. So let's see. It's also kind of interesting. What if we said sine val is sine of j and cosine val is two times cosine of j? Let's download that. What's going to happen? Pause it. Tell me what's going to happen before we bring it up. Did you figure it out what is going to happen? Okay, we need to. All right, that's going to that's going to work okay. Uh What you see is you see that the cosine wave is happening twice as fast as the sine wave. Hey, what if we come in and say cosine is 10 times? Now the cosine's going to be going really fast and the sine's going to be going really slow. And let's call this up, serial plotter. You see, the cosine action is happening a lot quicker. Hey, what if we say sine, though? What if I add 
what if I add on the outside, add two, that is going to scoot the sine wave up. So the cosine might be going faster, but the sine is going higher. Look at that. I think that's pretty cool. And really, man, this is a pretty powerful thing. We're not, we're using the Arduino here, not with circuits or controlling things or anything, but it's just kind of neat how you can play around with math and graph your math here. And I think that that is pretty neat. All right, let's see. What if I just say uh, float, and I'm going to create a float of a parabola, parab, okay, and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go from j is equal to minus 4 as long as j is less than or equal to 4 and j is equal to j plus 0.01. That's still okay, that, but then what I am going to say is parab, parab, is equal to j times j. I'm doing j times j because I am not sure what the square function is. I think you might have to do like a power function or something. So I'll just say j times j. And then we are going to print, we are going to print parab. And then let's do a parab2 is equal to, is equal to, j times j uh, whole thing minus, so minus j squared. And then we're going to print parab and parab2. And now we need a parameter up here, another float of parab2. So you guys see what this is going to do? Let's watch. Could be exciting. And we are denied. What, what is wrong with this silly thing? I, ah, I forgot the semicolon. Everyone hold your breath. All right, let's look at the serial monitor and see what is happening. Serial plotter. Oh, look at that. A most beautiful parabola. A most beautiful parabola. And then it starts over. So you see it's going from minus 4 down to 0 and 4. And we're plotting the positive and the negative. Man, I would love it if we could take this auto scale off, but we can't. And because I am just absolutely obsessive compulsive. What we are going to do is we are going to say prab is equal to j times j and then we are going to say uh, sine val is equal to sine of j and then we're going to say prab2 is Parab times Parab times sine val. All right. So you see, you can start kind of thinking about what this is going to look like. Do you, can you think in your head what this is going to look like? All right. Let's take a look at it. And we'll call this up. And I called the wrong thing up. You want to call the serial plotter up. Okay, so you see we're kind of putting a parabola over a sine wave. And it makes a really interesting, a really interesting chart here. The problem is it, it isn't as impressive as I wanted because it's it's not, I can't control the scale as I wanted. But you can see that you can start building math functions and see what they do. Okay, you guys, hopefully you got your homework done. This was le less than 57. Your homework up next is to just be plotting different math functions like you've done sine, you've done cosine, you have done a parabola. Go in and plot some other things like plot 
the logarithm plot uh, the e to the x plot some things like that so you get a little more comfortable with the math and with plotting okay Paul McCorder from toptechboy.com I will talk to you guys later